Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to study the question bank of chapter 15, Karnataka, first QC biology, plant growth and development. If you want the question bank of other lessons, check the playlist of my channel, you can get from there. Expand IBA, indole butyric acid, expand NNA, naphthalene acetic acid. Name the hormone which brings about internodal elongation. Answer, gibberellin. Which hormone is responsible for premature withering of fruits? Answer, abscessic acid. Name the fruits ripening hormone. Answer, ethylene. Define vernalization. The phenomenon of making the plants to flower by cold treatment followed by correct photoperiod is called vernalization. What is bolting? Answer, internode elongation and early flowering induced by gibberellins is called bolting. Define growth. Answer. Growth can be defined as a permanent irreversible increase in size and volume of a cell, tissue, organ and organism accompanied by an increase in dry weight. What are the growing regions of the plant body? Answer. The meristematic regions or meristems are the growing regions of the plant body. Mention the phases of growth. Answer. The phases of growth are cell division phase, cell elongation phase, Cell maturation phase or differentiation phase. Name the auxin which is used as a we decide. Answer 2,4 dichlorophenoxyacetic acid. Name the synthetic ethylene releasing compound used as a fruit ripener. Answer ethifon, which is commonly used as a selective weed killer. Answer. 2,4 dichlorophenoxyacetic acid. Name the hormone responsible for bolting in biennials plant. Answer gibberellins. Name the hormone responsible for Richmond Lang effect in plants. Answer cytokinin. Two marks question answers. Expand apical dominance. Answer when an apical bud is removed in a plant, the lower auxiliary bud grow rapidly and the plant becomes profusely branched. If the apical bud is retained, the growth of the lateral bud is suppressed. This phenomenon is called apical dominance. Apical dominance is due to the high concentration of auxins of at the apex. Explain the grand period of growth. Answer. The second phase of growth in the growth curve is called the grand period of growth because in this phase the growth is rapid due to the enlargement of newly formed egg cells. This period of growth is known as lo log phase or exponential phase. Explain any two practical applications of auxins. Answer so, the practical applications of auxins are auxins induce the rapid cell division and cell elongation. Auxins are used in the prevention of premature withering of leaves, flowers and fruits. Explain any two functions of gibberellins. Answer. The functions of gibberellins are gibberellins are helpful in the elongation of internodes in genetically dwarf plants. Gibberellins are used to break down the dormancy of seeds and buds. What are growth regulators? List any two applications of gibberellins. Answer. Growth regulators are organic substances produced naturally in minute quantity by higher plants in some particular cells and are specifically transported to a target organ where they influence psychological functions. They can be either growth promoters or growth inhibitors. Applications of gibberellins. Gibberellins are helpful in the elongation of internodes in genetically dwarf plants. Gibberellins are used to break down the dormancy of seeds and buds. Draw a graph showing the typical growth curve. Mark the phases of growth in it. Here is the curve. Write any two applications of synthetic auxins. Answer. Synthetic auxins like NAA or IBA is used in nurseries to induce adventitious roots by dipping the ends in a dilute solution. Synthetic 2,4-D is a selective vedicide used to eradicate dicot wheat in monocot plantation. Mention any two commercial application of NAA. Answer. To produce parthenocarpic fruits like grapes, orange, tomato, etc. to promote flowering of the entire crop at a time in pineapple, cotton, maize. Mention two 
physiological functions of abscisic acid and so it is a powerful growth inhibitor and inhibit the growth by retarding cell division and cell elongation it inhibits seed germination it induces seed and bud dormancy why is abscisic acid also known as stress hormone answer it is also called as a stress hormone as it helps the plant to overcome adverse conditions like drought eroding injury etc synthesized into fruits and leaves first discovered by ad scott aba stimulates the formation of the abscis abscission layer at the stalks of buds leaves petals and fruits and caused abscission can promote seed dormancy but dormancy stimulates st closure can decrease rna and protein synthesis in leaves both growth and differentiation in higher plants are open comment and growth and development in higher plants is referred to as being open because various meristems having the capacity for continuously dividing and producing new cells are present at different location in these plant bodies would a defoliated plant respond to photoperiodic cycle why answer no as it cannot perceive light it cannot respond to photoperiodic cycle what is vernalization how does this help in cultivation of winter variety of wheat answer besides correct photoperiod some plants require low temperature treatment for flowering this treatment is known as vernalization vernalization prevents precocious reproductive development late in the growing season and enables the plant to have sufficient time to reach maturity certain food plants like wheat barley and have two variable varieties called spring variety and winter variety the spring variety is planted in spring and it completes the life cycle before the growing season the winter variety is normally planted in autumn or spring and is harvested by midsummer next three marks question answers describe briefly arithmetic growth geometric growth sigmoid growth curve absolute and relative growth rates answer arithmetic growth refers to the situation where a population increases by a constant number of persons or other objects in each period being analyzed growth rate the increase in growth per unit time is termed as growth rate rate of growth may be arithmetic or geometric in arithmetic growth one of the daughter cells formed by mitosis continues to divide while the other undergoes differentiation and maturation in geometrical growth both the daughter cells formed after mitosis retain the inability to divide growth can be defined as a permanent and irreversible change in the size volume or weight of a plant or its parts plants show two types of growth namely primary and secondary primary growth takes place at the stem or root tips and it results in the growth in length secondary growth takes place due to the activity of cambium and it results in the growth in thickness in plants the growth is a localized phenomena The measurement of total growth per unit and its comparison is known as absolute growth while the growth of a particular system per unit is called relative growth rate it is expressed on a common basis what do you understand by photoperiodism and vernalization describe their significance answer photoperiodism plants in order to flower require a particular day length or light period called photoperiod and response of the plant to photoperiod in terms of flowering is called photoperiodism photoperiodism was first discovered by w w garner and h a allard based on their photoperiodic response plants are classified into the following groups long day plants these flower in photoperiod more than critical day length example wheat oats etc short day plants these flower in photoperiod less than critical day length answer tobacco chrysanthemums etc day neutral plants these are the plants which are not influenced by the duration of light for their flowering example tomato cucumber cotton etc 
vernalization besides correct photo period some plants require low temperature treatment for flowering this treatment is known as vernalization vernalization prevents precocious reproductive development late in the growing season and enables the plant to have sufficient time to reach maturity certain food plants like wheat barley and rye have two varieties called spring variety and winter variety the spring variety is planted in spring and it completes the life cycle before the growing season the winter variety is normally planted in autumn or spring and is harvested by midsummer what would be expected to happen if ga3 is applied to rice seedlings dividing cell stops differentiating rotten fruit get mixed with unripe fruits answer will exhibit intimate elongation and increase in height if dividing cells stop differentiating mass of undifferentiated cells is formed called callus if a rotten fruit gets mixed with unripe fruit then the ethylene produced from the rotten fruits will hasten the ripening of the unripe fruits with reference to growth define the following terms differentiation de differentiation re differentiation answer differentiation de differentiation and re differentiation first it is conversion maturation of meristematic cells to regain the power to divide under certain condition de differentiation permanent cells like parenchyma can revert back to meristematic activities cell division to form secondary meristem this conversation this conversation is called de differentiation re differentiation it is the secondary meristem divides to produce new cell which further differentiate to form missile cells and once again lose the capacity to divide then it is called as re differentiation next five marks question answers define growth differentiation development de differentiation re differentiation determinate growth meristem and growth rate already we have now Um, read the def definition of differentiation, de differentiation, re differentiation. List five main groups of natural plant growth stimulator. Write a note on discovery, physiological functions, and agricultural or horticultural applications of any one of them. Answer: It is also called as a stress hormone as it helps the plant to overcome adverse. adverse conditions like drought flooding injury etc synthesized in the fruits and leaves first discovery by adicot abs stimulates the formation of the abscission layer at the stalk of buds leaves petals and fruits and causes abscission can promote seed dormancy bud dormancy stimulation stomatal closure can decrease rna and protein synthesis in leaves which one of the plant growth regulators would you use if you are asked to induce rooting in a twig auxin quickly ripen a fruit ethylene delay leaf uh, senescence cytokinin induce growth in auxiliary bud cytokinin bald in a rosette plant gibberellin induce immediate stomatal closure in leaves abscisic acid define photoperiodism and vernalization describe their significance photoperiodism plants in order to flower require a particular day length or light period called photoperiod and response of the plants to photoperiod in terms of the flowering is called photoperiodism Photo photoperiodism was first studied by W W Gardner and H C Allard based on their photoperiodic response plants can be classified into long day plants short day plants and day neutral plants whose explanation already we have studied vernalization explanation also we have studied so this is all about your notes of biology plant growth and development if you want the notes of other lessons check the playlist of my channel you can get from there thank you